Good morning. Morning, Doctor. Can I ask you to please confirm your name and date of birth? It's Ram from Mark, and it's 6th of April, 1977. Welcome, Ram. I'm Dr. Swankel. I'll be uh, the doctor examining you today. Apparently, you have some chest pain, and I've been asked to do a cardiovascular examination. It's going to entail you removing your shirt and um, me touching your chest. Is that okay with yes, you, Ram? No problem. Okay. Excellent. You can just remove your shirt for me. We've already set the bed at a 45 degree angle to facilitate the exam. Just looking at Rion, he appears nice and healthy. I did not see anything that would lead me to believe is that he's acute or chronically ill. He doesn't have any obvious features of uh, Marfins, Downs, or Turner syndrome. And looking at his surroundings, there's nothing of note. Rion, I'm going to ask you just to take your hands and put your fingers together like that. We're doing a shamrock sign, and the little window is quite evident. So Rion doesn't have any clubbing. Also, looking at his uh, nails, I do not see any splinter hemorrhages. He doesn't have peripheral cyanosis. I'm just going to squeeze on your fingertips. And Rion has normal capillary filling. It fills up within two seconds. Looking at the extensive surfaces of his hands, I do not see any xantomato. You just turn your hands like this. There's no pulmonary erythema. I do not see any Janeway lesions or Osler nodes, and there's no evidence of tar stain. Rian, I'm just going to quickly feel your pulse. And you're feeling a radial pulse, and the rate is good. It's 60 per minute. Uh, the rhythm is regular, and it feels a normal volume. We just, I'm just going to slide my hands up on this radial pulse till it disappears. It's now gone. I'm going to ask you to raise it 90 degrees and the pulse does not return. So, Rion does not have a collapsing pulse. I'm now just going to make sure that both radial pulses are equal, symmetrical in their pulsations, which they are. There's no radial radial delay. And then I'm just going to feel the femoral artery. And there's also no radial femoral delay. We are, we're going to proceed to do your blood pressure, but I know they've already done that, and the blood pressure was 120 or 80 millimeters mercury, which is perfectly normal. Right. I'm going to ask you to please remove your mask. And then if you could look up for me, uh, Rion has no pallor, no signs of jaundice. And there is also no Alcus uh, Similis or Alcus Cornihalis. And you just close your eyes. Also, no Xanthus Marta on his eyelids. Looking at his cheeks, they are nice and pink. There's no malar flush or mitral facies present. Uh, his lips are also nice and pink. Just take out your tongue for me, uh, which is also nice and pink. So, no sign of central cyanosis. Rian, I'm going to ask you just to look up for me. And open up wide. There's a normal palate, so no high arch palate, which would be suggestive of possible um, morphins. And he has normal cellular teeth, normal teeth. I do not see any obvious dental caries or dental decay. I can ask you just to lie back and relax. I would like to feel the carotid pulse, and this is the ideal place to feel the character of the pulse, which in this case is normal. Normal rate and volume and rhythm. Excellent. Never feel both at the same time. Um, then I'm just going to feel your trachea just to make sure that it is central and is nice and central. We're now going to proceed to do a, a JDP, so I need you just to look a little to your left, not too much, and overextend the sternomastoid muscle. When examining the JBP, uh, you can also place some pressure over the right hypochondrium of the liver area, and this will also increase the intensity of the pulsations, uh, also known as the impact of jugular reflex. Make sure that it is the venous pulsation that you see, and the way to discern it would be that um, it's not palpable. Um, it's very fleeting, so there's, there's two pulsations for every uh, pulse, and it variates. Uh, with inspiration. And uh, we are looking for the upper end of these pulsations. This is known as the JDP and gives us a good indication of the pressures in the right atrium. 
So in order to measure it, I feel for my sternal angle, and I place my ruler in a nice uh, vertical uh, position. And then we are going to measure the upper end of the pulsations, and in his case, it's three centimeters. Uh, we add that to the five centimeters, which is the distance from the sternal angle to the middle of the right atrium, and that gives us a JDP of eight centimeters of water. Then um, I'm going to proceed to feeling his femoral pulses, and we'll just make sure both are present. And there's no delay. We're then going to feel Rion's popliteal uh, pulses, which are also both present. Moving down to the posterior to the Alice pulse. And then last and present, and lastly, is the Solus pubis pulse. And both are present. Looking at his legs, they're nice and symmetrical. And I'm just going to place some pressure on the lower third of his tibia on the medial side. And I'm looking for edema, and he does not have edema. If he did have edema, it would be important to know whether it's human or bilateral and whether it's fitting or not. Looking also at his ankles and feet, there's no trophic or vascular discolor uh, um, discolorization as a, as a result of uh, altered vasculature. Looking at his toes, also, there's no clubbing, no splint hemorrhages, no peripheral cyanosis. So, Rian, um, what we now need to do is I'll, I'll be sending you into the next room. We're going to do an ophthalmoscopy or phrondoscopy on you, which means we're going to be shining a light into your eyes. Uh, the nurse will also be measuring your temperature and she's going to ask you to give us a urine sample so we can do a urine dipsticks. Okay, so in summary, um, if you have a perfectly normal cardiovascular examination, I wasn't able to detect anything that would be the cause of this chest pain, so we will be doing some further investigations like an ECG and some blood work, but for now you can uh, get dressed, and uh, thank you.